All right, guys, so my kids are getting up in age now where they're fully capable of doing chores, housework, things of that nature around the house. So we've started having the kids do these kinds of things. Well, laundry was one of the new tasks for one of my daughters. Well, in the course of doing, doing laundry and gathering them up, this is partially my fault. My pants got collected and everything in them went into the washing machine. Wallet, uh, keys, everything, including a spare mag that was in my offside pocket. So this magazine has made it through a full cycle in the washer. I haven't done anything to it except for laid it in the safe and let it dry for about a week. So I figured instead of just throwing them away, we'd come out and run them through the chronograph and see if there's any like oddball velocities, uh, huge standard deviations, whatever. So that said, we'll load them up here and see how they do through the chrono. Hell, they may not even go off. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and give a, a, a prediction. I think they'll all fire just fine. Let's see. One One thousand eighty five. One thousand one hundred nine. One thousand forty. One thousand seventy seven. 1,069. 1,083. 1,078. 1,101. And we're empty. So, yeah, I'm... Fired just as uh, I figured they would. Uh, I wouldn't recommend carrying them, which of course that's why we're discarding them the way that we we are. But I think you know the seal between the bullet and the and the and the and the brass as it as it gets seated, there's, it's a pretty tight seal. Primer pocket, it's that's a good tight seal as well. I mean, I, I know a lot of old military ammo is lacquer coated to keep contaminants from from getting to the powder and and your primer but you know they may not have worked the day after they may not have worked right after they come out of the washer but a week later you can see shoot just fine and that's our average velocity for all the rounds 1084 which is pretty good for a 124 grain gold dot coming out of a p365 barrel it's coming to you from the laundry room where all this took place. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Let me know how you liked it. I got a video coming up here soon. It's going to be 300 blackout through the gel test. It's going to be a couple different bullet varieties out of a 10 and a half inch barrel. I'm looking forward to the results myself. So stay tuned.